one has a story to tell. It has a memory and it, it'll tell you where it's come from and it'll distinguish itself from one side of the hill to the other. The first thing on earth I tasted was champagne. When I was born, Dad was handed me and rubbed champagne on my lips. I think that led me down a path that I'd never look back on. In 1990, Dad established Clarendon Hills. We were looking for a place to, to make wine and Dad just started driving around, talking to people and tasting berries. He came across a vineyard that we now know as Australis, walked up to the door, knocked on it, got talking with the grower. Sure enough, Dad was back next year by himself. Started at 6am and finished at 9 o'clock at night, hand-picked all the fruit. I was eight years old when the winery started. I used to spend my weekends hating it up here. <laughs> Countless weekends uh, making giant paper planes out of pallet slips. It's funny how it all changes. I never saw Dad much when I was a kid, but when I did I remember seeing him with purple hands. That was because everything was done literally by hand. We still do everything the same way, with our hands and by smelling and by tasting. In 1994, he'd made the wine that he thought was out of this world. When you get a clear night up here, you can just see the whole Milky Way and it feels like you can touch the stars. Mum and Dad picked up the Webster's Dictionary and found the word Australis, which means pertaining to the stars. It has majesty and the timeless elegance to it. A single vineyard produces a specific character that is unique to that patch of dirt. Tell us what we believe should be the storyteller in any bottle of wine. We've got some of the oldest vines in the world sitting in some of the oldest soils on earth. All of our vineyards are dry grown and they survive only what nature gives them. Dad often refers to these old vines as gentlemen. These gnarly old bush vines are twisted and really struggling to survive. Dad is a man of few words. He's been driven by his own heart. He's always followed his vision to the end. The future is trying to learn as much as we can so that he can pass that torch. That talent of tasting raw fruit and fermenting must. It's hard work, it's impossible, but every year you gain a little bit more understanding. We've always had multiple bottles of wine at any family occasion. We talk about it, we argue about it, we uh, sometimes cry about it. But uh, it's always there. I love it. Every day is new and every day you learn something new as well. So it's continually re-energising my passion for family and wine. And when you combine the two of your greatest passions, you're a happy person.